What Remains of Edith Finch is the newest game by Giant Sparrow, the creators of the imaginative Unfinished Swan. When I heard that their new game was coming out, I was instantly excited because of how creative their first project was. It seems like the story this time around has a darker tone to it though. So the big question on my mind is whether or not this will have the same kind of storytelling innovation that the Unfinished Swan did. But let's find out in my mighty review of... What Remains of Edith Finch. What Remains of Edith Finch is a story-driven experimental game in which you take on the role of Edith Finch, looking to learn about her family's past by searching through the childhood home that her mother locked up. As the game progresses, you'll learn about each of the ancestors in your family tree, and as the trailer said, at the end of each story, someone dies. I don't want to say too much for fear of spoiling anything, but let me just say that so far, Edith Finch has the best story I've experienced in 2017 so far. Which is kind of necessary if the game is going to completely revolve around the plot, so let me explain why I think the story is so great. Edith's family is said to be cursed with a habit of dying early, and that curse seems to be more and more true with each new story. Sometimes the deaths are sad, while other times they're just straight funny, especially when you know to expect them. But the best thing about these stories is how they're told. Each story has its own special gameplay style or gimmick, whether it be a new style of game or just taking pictures to progress. The way the events are shown to the player vary wildly from one world to the next. The best part is that these new gameplay styles often blend perfectly with the feeling of the story. The new controls aren't just a gimmick, they really help the player to get into the shoes of the person in the tale. Again, I can't go into too much detail, but even if I could, it would be difficult to put into words just how absorbed I was in each new story. So the gameplay is great, but the aesthetics are also important to keep the story going. The graphics in Edith's world are serviceable. Style-wise, I love the house, the secret passages, and the huge attention to detail in each room. Still, the graphics are just average, which is to be expected from a small game studio. However, they don't hamper the experience at all. The environments are designed beautifully, so it's totally made up for. What's a bit more troublesome is the screen tearing that happens whenever Edith moves her head. It's the only thing in this game that manages to pull me out of the story. It's not the worst thing in the world, but it's noticeable and an annoying smudge on an otherwise excellent game. Still, the other people's memories tend to be where the real spectacle is. The game doesn't just play around with gameplay, but also with visuals. Flying a kite through the narration subtitles and walking through the text on screen make it really feel like you're traversing through a novel that's come to life. The shifting art styles in a lot of cases add both variety and visual flair to the narrative. And then there's the sound, and it is amazing. The soundtrack is not only well composed, but wonderfully complements whatever's happening on screen, and the sound effects are perfect for the action going on. But there's one thing I want to point out above everything else. The voice acting for Edith Finch is incredible. I haven't heard any work by Valerie Lohman before, but if she continues to pursue voiceover work, I guarantee she'll be mentioned along with the likes of Nolan North, Tara Strong, and Troy Baker. I honestly can't remember the last time I noticed voice acting performed this well in a game, and the other members of the family are fantastic as well. I really commend everyone's efforts here. I do have one final point to make. The game is incredibly short, taking me about an hour and a half to be with only the ability to replay memories unlocked upon finishing. Still, when I look at a game's length, I don't think there's a set minimum. Instead, I try to think about whether or not I got my money's worth for the game's quality. While playing this game, I've been moved, had laughs, and had an experience I'll never forget. And I'd say that that's all I can ask for out of this type of game. What Remains of Edith Finch is a fantastic game. It not only is a great story, but it's a masterfully told one. And because of its great gameplay innovation, amazing voice work, and incredible amount of emotion in the story being told, I'm giving What Remains of Edith Finch for the PS4 a 9.5 out of 10. And definitely a spot on the Mighty Nifty Must Play Games list. It is a short game, but it's one that I think everyone should try out. 
With that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the review. If you did, be sure to comment down below and let me know what I should review next. And if you like this review, be sure to subscribe to see more Mighty Reviews and Dissections and other great gaming content. And as always, have a mighty nifty day today.